in this uh, video we will uh, compare the five types of WBCs in a tabular form and this table would help us understand all five types and at the same time we would be able to compare them on various criteria. So let us see the table now. Okay, so now we are looking at the table which is showing us the comparison between all five types of WBCs. That is neutrophils, basophils, acidophils, monocytes and lymphocytes. Let us now first see the diagrams which are given at the bottom of this table. Neutrophils, here we see the nucleus is multi-lobe. There are many lobes which are in the nucleus. Then coming to basophils, the nucleus is normally three or four lobed and the shape becomes like S. Acidophils, they have bilobed nucleus and this is easier to remember like A, B and N. Acidophils have bilobed two lobe nucleus, basophils have three and neutrophils have multi-lobed or five lobe nucleus. Let us come to monocytes and lymphocytes when it is about the shape of the nucleus. In case of monocytes, the nucleus is kidney shaped or bean shaped whereas in lymphocytes it is rounded or spherical. So after looking at the diagram, it becomes easier to understand the shape and structure. We will compare them on the basis of percentage also, which is the first point on the table. Neutrophils are the maximum uh, types of uh, WBCs or leukocytes. They make up about 62%. Then followed by them are lymphocytes, which make 30%. And minimum are basophils, which make only 0.5 to 2%. Size-wise also, we have seen that their size varies from about 8 to 10 or 15 micrometers. So, they are smaller in size. Now, coming to the granules, because acidophils, basophils and neutrophils, they are granulocytes, whereas monocytes and lymphocytes are agranulocytes. So, if we compare them on granules point, neutrophils have fine granules, basophils and acidophils have coarse granules. That means the granules are slightly bigger. And whereas, in monocytes and lymphocytes, these granules are absent. Now, formation, again one point where we want to compare them. Neutrophils, basophils and acidophils, that is, granulocytes are synthesized in the red bone marrow, whereas the agranulocytes, that is monocytes and lymphocytes, they are mainly produced in lymph nodes as well as some lymphoid tissues like spleen and thymus. Now, the last point is comparison of these on the basis of the functions that they perform. Neutrophils and monocytes are the main phagocytes. So, in neutrophils, we have written the function as phagocytes, they engulf the foreign particles. And the last point in monocytes is written as scavengers, that means they also feed on the foreign particles. So, both neutrophils and monocytes are phagocytic in nature. Coming to the second one, that is basophil. This basophils, they secrete heparin, which is an anticoagulant. Histamine, <coughs> sorry, histamine, which is released as a result of allergic reaction and it also secretes one more substance which is not mentioned in the table here is serotonin, which is a vasoconstrictor. Now coming to acidophils or eosinophils and their functions. They are anti-allergic. That means whenever there is an allergic response against it, it these would be uh, release or their action would be triggered and they help in wound healing. Monocytes we have already discussed. So now let us talk about the last category that is lymphocytes and their function. We have talked of that lymphocytes are of two types B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. B and T lymphocytes they are responsible for immunity. B lymphocytes are the ones which actually produce the antibodies against specific antigens. And these B lymphocytes are triggered or stimulated by helper T cells. Uh, this we study in detail when we come to 
immunity. But when we combine B and T lymphocytes, they help in antibody formation, which is the basic immune system of our body or third line of defense. So when we compare these uh, cells in a tabular form, we are able to have a clear idea of their uh, percentage, shape, sizes, their lifespan, even functions at a glance. So now uh, from this table, we have understood a comparative thing also. How they vary in their lifespan, their sizes, their nuclear shapes, as well as their functions. So with this, we have completed the second type of corpuscle that is WBC. And in the next segment, we will start with the third that is platelets or